Hi Jeep Jamboree fans, this is Pierce Wimloff at Jeep Jamboree Headquarters. Uh, this is now take three of this video. <laughs> One and two didn't quite work. So we are going to go over in Moab last week or the other week we posted on our Facebook account and on our e-blast to Jeep Jamboree participants and fans that uh, the top ten off-road accessories that we had kind of gone through what we carry in our Jeep vehicles when we off-road. Some of the people had commented they wanted to know the contents of our orange Pelican case. So we, this orange Pelican case, we're going to go through it really quickly for you, but we had, we kind of customized this for what we typically do out in the Rubicon Trail and when we're off-roading around the country. And these are components that you just can't live without. They're things that just make your life a lot easier and a lot more difficult if you don't have them. So one of the components we don't have in here that is essential is tie wire or bailing wire. It's a very strong wire that usually comes in a bundle. It's great for tying up exhausts, um, you know, any exhaust components on there, mufflers, um, sway bar disconnects if they fall down. It's really hard and sturdy so they can keep uh, it perfect. So make sure you keep that in there. I went over this the other day, spill containment unit. Everybody should have one in their vehicle. It's essential. We do a lot up on the Rubicon Trail and we're repairing vehicles. Sometimes we have leaky fluid. We clean up everything with that and when this is used we put another one back in. Duct tape is just essential. Uh, fire extinguisher. Uh, definitely need one of these in your vehicle. Should, everybody should have one. Flares. We carry them when we're fixing a vehicle, maybe if it's broken down the road. We have, if you're around a corner, they're important to use and make sure people know that you're coming. Be cautious though of these if you're living out west. Uh, they can roll down the, the, the roadway. I've seen them roll down the road and start a fire. Um, so you want to make sure maybe a triangle is more appropriate. Just keep an eye on those. Gloves are very important if you're moving obstacles on the trail. Rocks, logs, etc. We have a poncho is really important up in the Sierras where we are near Lake Tahoe. The weather can change on a moment's notice and it's important to stay dry while you're up there. Flashlight, really important. Uh, comes in super handy. Sometimes we even have headlamps in our Jeeps. Uh, little Zipka headlamps they make which are compact and they zip out go on your head. If you're at night changing a tire component it's nice not to try to be holding this, you know, with your mouth working like that. It can be uh, challenging and people don't know what you're saying either. It's frustrating. Uh, we have jumper cables essential when you find that you don't have them and your battery's dead <laughs> that can be a pain flagging tape um, to flag an area we use a lot for when the helicopter lands we hold it up and that's probably not <laughs> a use for many of you but um, we hold it up and it gives us the ability to see what the wind direction is but we flag off areas of the trail that people shouldn't be going on um, we also flag you know areas that we're going so people can know where we're going an extra toe strap we carry it in here as you can see this one's not even used we just have it for an extra one in case we need it zip ties Again, the importance of zip ties will save your life. We have rescue tape in here. As a company out in Southern California does rescue tape, it, it seals high pressure hoses, brake lines, radiator lines, uh, radiator hoses, etc. We have components in here like um, just a rag. Wipe off fluids, wipe off your hands, dry things off, a Sharpie to write notes with. We have a basic first aid kit that has you know the basic Band-Aids, Neosporin, Aspirins, Advil, etc., etc. We also have eye wash fluid in here, uh, again, and, and goggles because around the dust of the helicopter, if they land on the trail to drop parts off or if the medic comes in for something, we have to be prepared to not be rubbing our eyes. We have to be able to look at the aircraft. Um, and then we also carry a kit that what we call white on red. It's mainly gauze pads. It's the pack we grab in case we hear of a vehicle rollover. This is the pack we run and grab that has splints, um, some, some tape in it, some gloves. But it's mostly what we call white on red. The white bandages go on the red, you know, areas of injury until our medic can get there. So that's what we carry in this kit. Um, again, we customize it for what we typically do on the road. So I hope this was helpful. I know you had a lot of questions about it, and uh, hopefully it provides some type of insight to the craziness of why we pack all this stuff. That's it. See you guys later.